from Hobby Ideas. I'm here to share some DIY craft ideas for this Christmas season. I'm going to show you how to make Christmas danglers to decorate your Christmas tree this festive season. The material that we are going to need for making these danglers is canvas. You get these canvas sheets. I've cut it into a strip and we're going to use glass colors and liquid embroidery glitter silver to decorate these danglers. So let's see how we can go ahead. Take an OHP sheet below. So when I'm coloring this, I don't stain my surface. And I'm going to color this using acrylic color, pearl white. Let's pour the color. And give an even coating of it on the canvas. Avoid getting brush strokes on the canvas. So spread the color evenly. You may also give two coats for a better finish. It'll take about 10 minutes to dry. So let the first coat dry for 10 minutes and give the second coat. So here we finish with the first coat. We'll wait for 10 minutes and give the second coat. So I have this acrylic color dried now with two coats. And I'm going to trace the design on this. So I have some motifs selected to make my danglers for the Christmas tree. I have these bells, candy canes, Christmas stocking, Christmas bulbs and a Santa. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trace these motifs on this colored sheet of canvas. So let's do that. Let's take the pencil and let's trace the bells. You can use a yellow carbon paper to trace these motifs on the canvas. So here we have them all traced and I'm going to color them using liquid embroidery glitter silver. Make nice even thin outlines for all these motifs. When you start coloring it, the liquid embroidery glitter color has got an opacity. But once it dries, it will dry clear silver with nice glittery silver shade that you will see. This will take say about 20 minutes to dry. I can give you a good tip here. When you're using liquid embroidery colors, it's nice to start by tapping your color cone on the surface. Then all the color will come down. So you will have minimum air gaps coming in. So we will complete all these in the similar manner, outlining all these motifs. So this is how it will look once the liquid embroidery color is dried. And you can see this shiny glittery effect of the color that you get. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to color these using water based glass colors. You can choose the colors of your choice. Before I color this, I'm going to cut this separately because then I should not spoil, once I color one motif, it should not get spoiled with my hand or anything like that. So let's cut them all separately. I'm going to use pink color to color the Christmas bulbs. I'll use blue color now. Let's use orange on the highlights. You can see all these air bubbles which are coming in the color and we need to burst them before the color dries up. So we're going to use a toothpick to burst them all. You may also use a seft pin instead. The smaller ones, if you can't burst them, just bring them on one corner. And here is how we complete it. 
So this is how it will look um, after colouring. Leave it for drying for 20 to 25 minutes. So now this is dried and we are going to cut it uh, with the scissors. Before I cut it, I will also need one small patch for hanging. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw a small circle here from where I can hang this dangler on the tree. So I draw this circle here and then cut the rest. Cut it nicely from the edges. You may leave a gap of 1mm if you wish to, giving a canvas border to your motif. Or you can cut it right along the silver glitter outlines. So here I have this uh, Christmas bulbs which are cut now and I can punch a hole here in the center for hanging it on the Christmas tree. So let's take this single punch, punch a hole in the center here and we'll hang a satin ribbon. So let's take a satin ribbon which measures about a 12 inches insert it in the dangler to avoid the fraying of the ribbon we can fold the ribbon into half and then give a small slant cut that also gives a nice look to the ends let's bring the ends together I can also tie a small bow here. This is about 8 inches long. Make it a little more dressy by making this small bow here. You can leave the ribbon like this or we may tie it into a small bow. And here we go. So we have more of these ready with us here. We've coloured the bells candy cane, Santa, which you can hang them on the Christmas trees to decorate. For more craft ideas, visit us at www.hobbyideas.in.